Hey everybody, it's Jeff Hill again at eTechnos with Jim. We are here to give you a first version uh, video of just a quick overview of the famous workbook. The first step that we require from any group if we're going to be implementing a new group on Employee Navigator. Uh, this is a workbook that we've recreated to add uh, some new flow, some efficiency to try to make this as efficient as possible for you to gather and submit information to our team for implementation. So the biggest thing that we want to make sure we talk about, it's not about going through each plan, it's just understanding the flow of using the workbook as much as possible, even when sometimes there's some missing information, what we want to do is re remind everybody that our timeline is really based on getting a completed workbook in our hands. That's the biggest factor when it comes to delaying implementations and taking longer is still getting piecemeal uh, bits of information and things here and there. So one way that we're going to really work on making the process more smooth is that we won't start building and accepting a workbook until it's completed in, in our hands. And what's also part of that is that when you have something you're missing, you actually update that same workbook and send it to us by email with those additions. So we may have three or four or five or six versions, but a most recent version of the workbook that has, it kind of builds on itself. So all the plans you already had in there, if there's something you're missing, then you add to it, save as, and send it back to us. That way we're not getting to a spot where we have a, a few of the plans in there and now we're starting to do email back and forth because without that template of a workbook, we've seen over and over, uh, we miss too many things and we're waiting on somebody to get things back and forth. So we've spent a lot of time and energy of rethinking and reorganizing this workbook, and we want to just kind of just cover some of the highlights. It's not terribly different than what you've seen before. It just has some new features to it, uh, and of course some really fancy new yellow and orange colors to let you know about the new workbook. And uh, before we sign off, I'll also remind you about uh, how to use this and using uh, new versions of it and things like that. But Jim, anything you want to point out to get started? I would. Every when you start using the workbook, the um, the fields that are highlighted in red are absolutely mandatory. I would like to say that everything in this is absolutely mandatory. <laughs> That's right. Um, a lot of red. We do have found that Employee Navigator, as an as a product, is evolving on a weekly basis, and they do change the system on a weekly basis. So this workbook may be updated from time to time. So if you're in any doubt of using the last version, please email us and we will send you a brand new version of the latest version. And just piggyback on that, we'll just kind of make a habit of any new build. We'll be reminded to say, hey, let's use this one. We're going to add a link to the most recent workbook on our website uh, just to try to get in the habit of when in doubt, any new build, let's grab the most recent copy. I would say that if you are filling in a workbook, the a good rule of thumb is to save the workbook with a date at the top. So we know what date uh, workbook we're working from. So if you send Great. us a more recent copy, just update the date. <laughs> so it would be a EN setup workbook January 1st. Yep. Uh, and a big thing that we run with everybody is, <clears throat> and it may take the most kind of back and forth, it's just making sure that we all work, um, as we've all, anybody who's worked with us before, figuring out those classes and divisions is one of the main primary things because it, it leads to other things and it piggybacks on lots of stuff on this. So remember, as you have plan names and class names, that's going to be part of the census. Everything has to match up. So being consistent and making sure when you name a class or name a benefit plan, uh, that you put some thought to that before it's finally submitted. So that way, uh, because again, we'll use it in a lot of different places and every census refers to that exact plan name. So we'll be using what you put on the workbook to go through that. Um, anything else, not going through each plan, but just uh, most plans are in here, Jim. I know we'll talk about the generic one. Every plan is, I mean, every plan is in there. All of them are self-explanatory. If you are putting in an LTD and an STD, please put it in the company paid or the voluntary uh, spot because the employee navigator asks for different parameters depending on whether it's company paid or employee pay, employer paid. Great. Uh, now what to handle or how to handle if uh, just something doesn't fit or the drop down. It's always an evolving process like Jim talked about. So if it doesn't fit exactly, every plan is going to have a spot for notes. <clears throat> or will have a spot for notes, so you'll see that on the generic plan. 
there's a place that if this is a uh, Teladoc, for example, or a plan that's not in there, <clears throat> use the template as much as possible. Use as much that makes sense. Use the note uh, field on the bottom to put as much details as you need. And then we'll, if it's nothing that fits the workbook, then absolutely we'll work with you. We may email back and forth and give us the details, whatever we might be missing. But <clears throat> everything we can all do together collaboratively to make the workbook as good as it possibly can and up to date as possible with those revisions, save time, save implementation, emails back and forth, and really makes the process a lot smoother. So we want to give you some instructions, some reminder. Uh, again, we'll uh, send you the most recent workbook. Uh, we'll try to remind you to uh, send you on if there's been any changes. We'll also add this to our website, a big button that says download the current workbook on the eTechnos Navigator page. Um, and we'll, uh, you know, maybe a few other places we put on there. But uh, anything else, Jim? No, that's <clears throat> everything for me. All right, great. Thanks, everybody. Again, the last thing is just reminding that our timelines are based on getting a workbook with everything completed and us accepting that. There's going to be an email that goes out to everybody that has those details as well. So thank you, everybody. See you.